Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Nigel and this is Off Grid Power Solutions where we look at lithium ion phosphate batteries and charging systems as well as a whole bunch of other van and vehicle based travel type content. In this video I am going to be looking at this diesel heater right here. So I installed this diesel heater into my sister's van. This is my sister's Sprinter van. Um, I installed that diesel heater last winter and just recently it started playing up in that it, if you turn it on, it just pumps cold air continuously, does not stop, uh, you cannot turn it off, it's, yeah, it becomes uh, unwieldy, literally just pumps cold air and that's it, no heating, nothing. And uh, a little bit of uh, Google searching and I found that it's the temperature sensor inside the diesel heater that is causing that fault, it's a pretty common fault that happens um, apparently. So I am going to be changing it and seeing if we can get this heater working again. And I'll take you guys through it just in case it's helpful for anybody. So let's go. Okay, so here's the heater. Uh, essentially, we want to take this cover off um, and get into the insides there where we can actually get to where the sensor is. So the way that you do that is to take off the uh, uh, air intake on that end, that little cover there, and then it should just pop right off. So Let's do that. If we have a look here, so this is actually the temperature sensor here with the wire that runs along there and plugs into the bottom of this black unit. So we're gonna take this black unit off here and then uh, we can get to where it plugs in. All right, so we're gonna take this clip out of here. Which, like that. And then that should allow us to get the temperature sensor out like that. And then this uh, little bolt on the top here, is just an M4 Allen key. So we are going to undo that. Oh. And then watch that wash on the top there. And then that comes off. And clips like that, which then gives you access to that little plug there. You can take it off and put the new sensor on. Okay, new sensor is in. As you can see there, clip is back on. It's plugged in there, with the red plug over there. Then properly, this clip getting this back in is a little bit of a pain. Uh, you really need two hands for that. If you have a look around there, if I can get the light right. Uh, you can see how the clip sits on the top of that temperature sensor there. So it obviously holds that down against the that manifold um, heat exchange to keep an eye on things. So I'm going to uh, get this thing back over here and clip down and then put my five on M6 grub screw back in there. You should be able to run this. Oh, I don't, actually don't know if you can run it without the cover on. So, um, in the interest of not destroying it, just in case it messes up with the air intake or something. Um, it's all back there. I'm going to put the cover back on. Cover is very simple, just slots in there like that. Goes and closes off there and then you can just put this thing on the end here. All right, now that that's all back together, let's see if this thing works. So, turn that on. Starting up. And let's report back in a minute or so and see if we're getting hot air. Okay, so I can hear the pump underneath is busy going, and uh, so far, looking all right on there, still blowing out uh, warm, oh, well, cold air, really, so we'll see what it does. All right, the heater is pumping, and it is nice warm air coming out of there, so can confirm it is way to fix these things. There we go. There we go. It's busy cooling down now. I've just turned it off. 
pretty happy to have it working. It's, it's bitter cold. You can see by the, the um, steam coming out of my mouth here. It is a cold day today, so pretty pleased to have that sorted and such an easy fix as well. So yeah, thanks for watching. Hopefully that was helpful. We'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.